Welcome back. We are doing all signs, errors through Pisces. Keep in mind if it is not your story, acknowledge and move on. Starting with elemental quickies for Aries. All right. Dealing with another fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius source. What do we have? Tried to get Noah to compromise on the noise. It's so far so good. So hopefully, guys. All right. This person's just kind of shutting down, holding back. Can be a Leo. What else? Interesting. One more. I mean, they do want something long term. They are thinking about this. Ooh, give it a little time. That looks like this person wants to come and offer something, take you out. Could lead to something bigger. So they need a little more time. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, please. Source. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Working, working, working. What else? All right, a little bit of confusion here. I mean, things are clearing up a little bit. This feels like, yeah. So this person should be coming your direction. Ooh, look at the bottom of the deck. I, You know, I'm really feeling that you're going to be kind of wrapping right on in here with an offer. Okay. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. All right. Got a little bit of courage here. A little stamina left. What else? All right. You know, I'm not feeling ending. I'm feeling more transformation and trying to put work into something. A little guarded. Yeah, and there's why. Okay, so there could have been an ending with this person. It does look like they want to come around. There might not have been some talking for a while. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Come on out there. We like that card. That's fun. Okay. A new creative endeavor or screwing and fun. But it's new, new, new. Ooh, powerful. Um, I hate to tell you, but this is like really good screwing. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. That's um, a lot of skill in the sack. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Wow, wow, wow. I don't even know if we want to touch that. Now, this is kind of crazy because this person can be kind of on the shy side, but oh my. <laughs> oh, God. Very interesting. Okay, let's get a clean deck. Source. Aries. Who is coming their way? Tell us about this person. Okay, Ace of Swords, I tried to lighten this up just so that the darker decks, there's the Seven of Cups, so there's a person that wants to come and clear the air here with you, heavy on the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Six of Swords, Reverse, this is definitely somebody that wants to come your direction and clear things up with you, then you have the Four of Cups, Reversed, the King of Spheres, which is Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this is somebody that has sexual interest in you. All signs are pretty much up here. Let's see, Cups, Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, not too much Earth, not too much Fire. But this person means business okay it can be a business person with the king of pentacles here but it's somebody that has long term in mind they want to have you know a discussion with you keep in mind that when the six of swords shows up there is still some baggage so this can be somebody that you have dealt with before but they do want i mean they're excited to come and talk to you have this discussion it definitely looks like there had been some confusion here this also can be daydreaming okay but this again because of the four of cups reversed it's showing that this person's kind of having a change of heart and regaining interest and wanting your attention okay 
All right. How do they feel? How do they feel? Very nice. So we have the Empress. That's growing feelings and the three of wands. So I think this is somebody that's waited a bit of time. Mm -hmm. There could have been an argument between you and this person. But with the nine of swords reversed, they're not as anxious as they had been. So this looks like a potential reconciliation or just working things out. Now, it doesn't mean it's the love of your life, but it does look like somebody has a lot of interest. Nice. The Empress is really noticing you. Wow. How do you view this? You have the tower reversed. So that's saying that I don't want this ending. So this is somebody that you, you have obviously a history here with this person. I, you know, avoiding an ending or a fear of change and then the devil. So there could have been something that you're afraid of not changing, okay? Can just be a Capricorn. I'm feeling more that there's something that needs to change in this connection. One more. The fool before but it does look like this can move forward that can be an Aries let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck temperance this is a really beautiful card in this deck temperance and it shows two moons the mountain here with the moon the mountain here with the moon this is balance this is two people working things out trying to see eye to eye a little bit better how does this move forward? How does this move forward? One card. Okay, so what needs to happen? This, your, this conversation is going to be to try to work on this heartache that had happened. But you also have the Eight of Cups. So it's kind of yet to be determined. First, this person has to... Here's your judgment. First, this person has to, you know, kind of inflate their balls and get ready to come your direction. It does look like they're thinking about it. It does look like there's feelings here. With judgment, it's that judgment call. <laughs> this can be an apology. They're really putting some thought into this. What needs to be worked on and not as anxious about it is whatever the hell the differences are between the two of you. Temperance can be two people that are so very different and yet gel together in a very good way. So this feels like two people that have different personality types, but they really see this growing, their emotions growing. When the three of wands, I feel like they're holding back a little bit because of an argument, because of some differences. So obviously somebody that you do know. I, I mean, it is a nice reading other than, you know, what the hell is the toxic shit? I do, I mean, there's two, three cards here about this person coming your direction. It doesn't seem like it's going to be that long. You might be surprised by it with the tower. Kind of like, I knew this was going to happen. I just didn't know when. But this is somebody that could be working a lot. But they're really, they have really been putting a lot of thought into this. The confusion seems to be clearing up, but I feel more that's daydreaming and really putting a lot of thought into this. Interesting read, Aries. All right, let's get one from the universe. I tried to lighten it up, so you guys let me know if it still looked too dark, okay? All right, source. A little more input for Aries. And then we'll get one of the sassy decks out. You already know this. Let's see what all came out here. You, the answers you need are coming. Sure thing. You'll soon find out and your intuition is strong, Yoda, so use it. So very positive. I mean, obviously there had been an issue, but with the timing, I feel this person's had time to put a little bit of thought into this, and I do feel that they are ready to talk. All right. One from the sassy deck for Aries. 
They are proof that you can polish a turd. Okay, on we go to Taurus. All right, Taurus. Elemental quickies first. Make sure I'm holding this damn deck right. Okay. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, please source. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, this card wants to come out, and so does this one. The Devil, the Empress, and the Ace of Cups reversed. I don't think this person has love in mind. I think they have a lot of sexual interest, and they're tempted. Ugh. I'd be careful with that. That just looks like fun, okay? Uh-huh, yeah. What do we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wheel of Fortune. Bringing something up. What else? Ace of Swords, Three of Wands. This person wants to work things out. They want to get together and talk about the future. Okay, so this is honest. It's a breakthrough, and it looks damn nice. All right. Source, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Page of Cuply Cups. Positive message. Somebody has their eye on you. And then the Knight of Swords, they want to come in, you know, yesterday. It's quicker action. I would expect this to happen sooner than later. And the Eight of Pentacles. Very nice. So it can be somebody that you work with, but this person is the type of person that wants to actually work on a connection. Mm hmm. You know, yesterday. I don't know if you're going to be aware of that one, though. Sometimes I can be a quiet admirer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten of Wands reversed. Why the Ten of Wands? This person needs is trying to. Trying to make a choice on what they want to focus on. Very, very willful. Might have had a lot on their damn plate. It feels like they're dropping something. Knight of Wands, so that they can come your direction. But they haven't told you about this just yet. They're really pulling a lot of thought. Heavy on the Virgo. A lot of thought into that. Okay. Clean deck. Let's see what we have for you. Source, Taurus. Person coming their direction. Who is coming Taurus's way? Who is coming Taurus's way? One more shuffle. Okay. Now this came up in your elemental quickie. So that can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that is looking into the future and wanting to plan something. Okay. It's not the crossroads. It's the actual movement. All right. Tell us more about this person coming towards Taurus. Okay. This, this is somebody that wants to take you out on a date or have a reconciliation, but they want to celebrate. That is two threes. Can be groups of people. Okay, now it's somebody that wants to come and try to work out confusion, work out thoughts. Okay, because swords are thoughts and action. It could have been... That there was bad timing previously. Let's get one more for that. There was. And it caused some heartache. So this feels to me like this person wants to get together and talk about this heartache. That's three threes. I mean, wow. That is motivation to move this forward, but they want to talk about this heartache. Bottom of the deck, you have the King of Cups. So they mean business. They are really thinking very sincerely about this. How do they view Taurus? They think that you are... Wow. They think that you have some doubts, I will say that, but they do see that you are very stable. So they feel that you are reliable, however doubtful. What is this person's intent? I think we already kind of got it, but they want to break the ice here and get the shit, the show, the shit show on the road. This is that offer. It's um, this appealing offer of trying to work things out and talk about what the hell had happened in the past. And then you have death reverse. This person's ready to talk. 
Now you could also have an Aries Leo Sag come in your direction. So you, you're going to have to, I think you're going to be a little bit stern with this person because of the conflict that had been, but they don't want any conflict. They also don't want any competition. Well, that might just be too bad. How does Taurus view this situation? If there's balance, I think you might be interested. It's coming. That's the action of movement forward. Yep. I don't know that you're ready to make a choice one direction or, or the other, however. Can be a Pisces. This seems like <laughs> they're a little bit more sure than you are. That you still have some doubts here. They see you as reliable. They're ready to have this talk. They want to break the ice. They want to talk about that heartache. So now it depends on what the hell they did. And with all the threes up here, it could have been some past interference. Somebody else sticking their nose in or screwing around. Doesn't have to be. Does not always have to be. But they want to get together. Take you out for a drink. Whatever the case may be. If this was one-sided, you still have fears that it would end up being that way and be too quick. It's like you got to have, you got to come in with a damn good offer. Don't just be in and out. That's not always the player, but it can be too fast. It's like they're, you need to take your sweet ass time here, chicky poo buddy, whoever the hell it is. But this person has high expectations and hopes. They're anticipating basically trying to work things out with you. There's still baggage that needs to be dealt with. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Scorpio. They want to talk. Heavy Aries, you aren't going to take anything that isn't a good offer, okay? Which is good. You're very well-rounded about this. Between the King of Pentacles and the Emperor showing up for how you are, stable as hell. So it better be a damn good offer. All right, let's get something from the universe. And then the sassy deck. I'd have a little sassy. Source, Taurus. A little input. Taurus. Unknown. Okay, one more. There it is. Wow, universe means business. Unknown and unsure. You're going to have to put some thought into this. Whatever the hell had, you know, been the problem, it's something big or it wouldn't be bothering you so much. Okay, one sassy card for Taurus. Shut the fuck up. Silence is required. Well, that's something. Time to change a fucked up situation. Okay, that's what I have for you, Taurus. On we go. Gemini's. All right, Gemini's. Elemental quickies. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Two more, please. Okay, Knight of Wands reversed. This person's a player. I don't think you want to deal with this shit. There could be more than one person that they were screwing wrong with. You got two people. <laughs> Major stalemate. Too many people. Mm -mm. Player, player, player. They could be involved. I don't think they're even interested. Or you aren't because they're a player. Yep, feeling that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Come on. Flop it already. Flop it. King of Pentacles. Why? Because I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Are you the boss? Because you're boring the shit out of me. Bosses go blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Ah. They do want to talk about this. However... Are they going to conform and give you what you want? Or are they just going to be going yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. It does look like it could be a, a good match. This also could be shit at work where you just need to, um, I'm feeling the need. Uh, it's the annual bullshit that you have to go through and the boss is up your ass about it. Also can be a um, Taurus that you're dealing with here. But this is boring shit. Okay. So that feels more like a situation than a person. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Blah, 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 blah. Don't fall asleep. Ooh, stroke my lamp. Give me a wish. Give me a wish, give me a wish, give me a wish, wish, wish. All right. Queen of Swords. 
So this can be also a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person feels there's a burden here. They're, they're alone. They're thinking about this. If they come in, it's going to be really um, mm, shitty. Be careful with that. This person can be a bit of a manipulator and acting like they're the ones putting more work into it. And selfish. And I say that because the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, but it's also for the self. Okay? The hell are we on? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't like that offer anyway. No, I don't. Okay. This person doesn't want things to be done. They want to come back your direction and have a fresh start. Can be an Aries. However, let me turn that up so you can see that. You got the Seven of Rods. This is like, okay, you give up. You feel like you have nothing to stand on and you're kind of a pussy. So this is almost like a wimpy coming around and going, me, 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 me. You know, wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. So I'm a feeling. Let's see what's underneath the leaf. Yeah. Okay. So what else? What else? What else? Yeah, they're really anxious as hell. They're not as anxious as they had been. Huh. We shall see. Okay, clean deck. Source. Who is coming Gemini's way? All right. You have judgment. There's that four of cups that had come up, except it's reversed. The moon and the page of pentacles. Okay, so this person is thinking. Mm -hmm. Thinking and drinking. Thinking, drinking. Can be a Pisces. They're not sure that you're interested in them anymore, that you would take an offer, but they want to bring this up. They might have, it looks like you're ignoring them. <laughs> it looks to me like you are ignoring them and you're just like, you know what, I, slow your roll. You're just taking your time and doing what you feel the need to do and that you are in no hurry. Why the moon for this person can be a Pisces, can be a Virgo. All right, so they're stalking you, doing drive-bys, watching you, trying to see what you're up to. They seem to think they have a solution, okay? So they do want to communicate. If that was reversed, I'd say this is just stuck. Forget it. They want to communicate. They want to have a serious conversation. Why are the Four of Cups reversed? Because this is showing more interest in the situation, and I don't think you give a shit. Okay, they're going to tell you that they would put more work into it and you're the bomb diggity and that they still have interest in you and they want the feelings to grow. Interesting. How does Gemini view this? Okay, so you busted them with something. What else? Okay, so there is emotion here. One more. Okay, you walked away from this. You walked away from this. You didn't, there was something that you busted or they held back the emotions from the connection that you had. What movement forward? This could be mutual energy. It just can be them, but they don't want this done. This is saying, I'm not confused. I'm choosing you. Well, that's all fucking great and dandy, but did they emotionally manipulate you and put the kibosh? You might tell them to suck an egg. Take their offer and stuff it. It's like, if you're waiting on me, you're going to be waiting a fucking while before I open up. What's their intent? I don't think you're digging this. To start a new chapter. Does Gemini have feelings for this person? Ooh, you're stuck on that one. You're going to, you need to take time on this one. This feels to me like you moved on. It is somebody that you had a connection with and did care about. But it's like, I don't know what the hell to do with this shit right now. This is being unsure of what the hell. It's like, I do not want to be hurt. I don't give a shit about stroking your damn ego. I don't know that you even want to talk to them right now. This is a stalemate. This is saying no new. <laughs> For you, this is like, no, I don't want to start over. I don't want this. That is what I'm feeling here. Heavily, So it's like, take your judgment card and shove it where the sun doesn't shine. You can watch me all you want. It's like, who gives a shit? It's none of your business what the hell I'm up to. They think they have a solution. 
But if they were screwing around and lying and being dishonest, what is the point? Because it doesn't look like you trust them. Mm -mm. You don't think they're reliable? You don't think they learned a lesson? You don't think that they got anything? It's like, well, how much? I, how? How are you going to work on what you already damaged? Okay, so we have Virgo up here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Water signs, heavy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think you started your own new chapter without them. I really do. Can be a Pisces and Scorpio. Okay, let's get one from the universe source. Little input. Little input. Ask and ye shall receive to be revealed. It's at the bottom. What's yours is yours. Interesting advice. Not sure that I feel it's appropriate, but I do think that you're going to have to really think about this. All right, and one sassy card. Gemini. One sassy card, please, source. Because the law of attraction fucked with you. Be careful with that. Try it and see what the fuck happens. I don't know if I agree with that. <coughs> if you've been thinking about this person a lot, that's what happens. You actually fuck with yourself. The law of attraction will bring that back. So if you've been thinking a lot about it, even in a derogatory way, it brings it back in. <laughs> it's not testing you. It's just what you are doing incidentally. So be careful with your thoughts. I feel the need to say, all right, Gemini's not the best story. We've had better, but on we go. Cancer dealing with the fire, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Da -dun -dun. Da -dun -dun. Da -dun. Go away, devil. This is done. Mm -mm. They're thinking about this, but there's still toxic bullshit here. Done, done, done. Now, this also can be that they're holding back from any kind of connection because they had dealt with somebody that was toxic and they are done with that person. Either way, not much fun. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, this person wants to come to you with a solution and be all happy and shit. Okay, that's got potential. They're, they're determined to fix whatever the issue had been. They think, they feel that they have a solution. All right, good luck. You're dealing with the Cancer. Better make it good. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Best of luck, mofo. All right. This person's just wallowing in their pity. You got two twos. They're, there's choices that need to be made, but they're holding back. Bottom of the deck, they could just be working. Oh, I'm nosy. Why the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Who gives a shit then? Missed opportunity is kind of what I'm feeling. Or that they missed the big picture. Yeah, screw them. They're being quiet, there isn't any conversation here, and they're wallowing in their fucking beer. They're just feeling sorry for themselves. What the hell sign was that? Was that Cancer? I think. I think, I think, I think. One, two, three. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Poor me. Pity, pity. I have another one, dude. Okay. No, no arguing, no fighting, no struggle. One more. This person could have treated you like an option, but that's debates and bullshit, and it's caused a lot of anxiety and heartbreak. Run away. Run, run, run away. No, we don't want that shit. Come on, you guys need a fifth element today, apparently. All right. Clean deck source. Cancer. What the hell for Cancer? Who's coming their way? Who's coming Cancer's direction? Okay, Ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so it can be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person that is coming your direction thinks they have a solution for this big burden, big problem that had been. Five of Swords. This was a really nasty, nasty fight. But they think they have a solution. You might not like their solution. How do they feel about you? 
Okay, five of wands reverse. They want to try to recoup this. They want to try to work out the bullshit. And this is like, let's compromise. I have this idea. Okay. <laughs> That's not much on feelings. One more for feeling. Knight of Pentacles. Ugh. They're feeling that you're reliable. They might be thinking that you're too slow. But you are reliable. So it's like they feel that you're the type of person that really puts a lot of thought into something and they damn well better make it good because it's not looking like a really good situation. How does Cancer view this? How does Cancer view this? Fuck no. <laughs> this to you is toxic. Okay. This to you is please go the fuck away. And you are wasting my time. Okay, so the Knight or the sorry, the Knight of Cups. You do not trust this person's offer. You're going, dude. I chicky poo. I have so much doubt in you. I don't believe a damn thing that's coming out of your flipper. All right, how does this move forward? <laughs> I think you're gonna let them have it and that's like a lot of truth not not anything nice it's not like you're gonna be making them supper alfredo and you know a side dish no it ain't happening mm -mm. they're still watching so they are trying to figure out what's going on with you i don't think you want to have anything to do with this shit one more nope four of wands that is broken trust. That is no stability and you not wanting it. You want something that's going to be long term. So you're going to hold out. Yes. Look at this shit. I'm holding on because I got better things coming my way. So what can be coming? What's underneath of that? Ten of swords. Mm -mm. You're still working on healing. That was the end of this cycle. So they're just sucking your energy because they're a sore thumb. Okay. Cut the hang now. Feeling better about yourself, someone is going to have a crushy, crushy Aries Leo Sag, water sign possibly, but this is going, I mean business, okay? So <laughs> taking accountability, you're going to have a turning point here, but it is new beginning. I don't feel that this is going to be soon, soon, but oh, let's play. Let's play time. One more time, time. April. So you need a little healing time, but there's new energy coming your direction. I just feel like this person's going to be a pain in your fucking ass for a while. A pita, pain in the ass. Yes. You're, you're slowing your roll. You're just like, no. And I don't see them dropping this anytime soon so i would expect them to make a few attempts but mm -mm, no whatever the toxicity and bullshit had been you do not have any trust for this person you would like to have tried to have trust but it's like you're done you're at the end of your rope you have so much doubt it's just not happening i don't give a shit what idea they have okay so capricorn taurus virgo capricorn Aries, Leo, Sag, water signs are up here. The lack of trust is strong, Yoda. Okay, let's get one from the universe. Cancer. So do not despair. There is love coming with somebody that has much, much better in. You have a yes. One more. One more. Change your perspective. I don't think you need to change your perspective as much as... <laughs> Mm -mm. I don't think it's going to matter what that person has to say. Okay, we want one from the sassy deck. Answer. There it is. All right, what do we have? It's okay to say, hell no. Kiss my ass. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Sayonara. Major Jack. Asholio. And if you're cross-watching, sorry. Yeah, can't help it. I read what I read, what I read, what I read. All right. Clean deck. Leo's. Okay. Elemental quickies. Aries, Leo, or Sag. We're dealing with a fire. A fire sign for Leo. This card just insists. Okay. 
So the manipulator's back. What does he want? What does he or she think that they need? They're bringing baggage with them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's no feeling here. This is not balanced. Don't even answer the phone. Put it on mute for that number. Take the number out of your phone. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't need any emotional manipulators. Ooh, the Empress would like that, though. What else? What else? Ooh, Knight of Swords and the Empress. This person has interest in you and they, you know, they fast action incoming. Brum, 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 brum. T. So they've been watching you for a while and they definitely have some interest in you. This feels new, new ish, and it does feel heavier on the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but they do see that you are the bomb diggity. Male or female, doesn't matter. Nice. We like it. We're leaving it. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Woo! That's a sassy one. Okay, Page of Wands has interest in you. They've been daydreaming about you. <laughs> you might um, not be too sure that they're going to stick around. Ooh, but they might. So this is somebody that you have a little bit of doubt in. Or they might be doubting long term, but ooh, do they want to find out? What else? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This feels like somebody that's really, really interested in you. There's some doubt here. I don't know whose it is, theirs or yours, but ooh, this could go in a very nice this could go all the way. It is new and there can be a age difference. So they could be a little bit immature. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Two of Wands. This person is kind of at a fork in the road in their life, generally speaking. What else? Three of Wands. That's a big fat no. This person's frustrated. There's major delays here. It's kind of an arrogant jackass. Oh, yeah. Major. Major. They don't feel like things are fair. Too bad. So sad. Too bad. So sad. Write a book about it. See if anybody buys it. Okay, let's get a clean deck. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who is coming Leo's way? Source. Who's coming Leo's way? Leo, Leo, Leo's. Eight of Pentacles. So it can be another Leo. Why the Eight of Pentacles reversed? Somebody that's got some doubt about working on this and has been watching. Hmm. New, upright, reversed, old. New. Okay, so it can be a Pisces, a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's pretty well rounded here. What's this person's intent? What's this person's intent? With the moon, it can be somebody a little bit on the shy side. Okay, so the intent is to get to know you, you know, yesterday. So this person seems to be outgoing. They might be watching you right now. It could be something newer. They're not sure that, that uh, I'm not sure about this eight of, why the eight of pentacles though? There's some doubt now. You know, this mm, they're not sure. Uh, this feels kind of like they're not sure if they want something long term. I don't, I think this is like, they're going to be honest about it. Six of Wands. I don't know that this person wants anything long term. Mm. That or it's like, they need you to kiss their ass and kiss my ass. Emperor reverse. Be careful. This person seems bossy and shitty. Why the emperor reversed? Well, this is not exactly fun. They're not sure. No, they're not sure what the hell they want. Why the knights of wands? Four of cups. Okay, be careful. This person might be considering going back to their ex. One more for strength. 
Five of Wands. Yeah, I'd be really careful. This feels like they're looking for a compromise, and I'm thinking that's elsewhere. They might not tell you about this. Fork in the road. Be careful. That can be a player. What is new generally for Leo? Eight of Wands. I don't know that you're going to want to talk to this person at all or have any interest if you think they're a player. Mm -mm. Really not. Ten of Swords. This seems to me like somebody that's looking for a rebound. I'm sorry, guys. But it sure the hell does. How does Leo view this shit? You're not interested in bullshit. So you really might not talk to them, not talk to them, not talk to them. They might seem like a player to you, and it might be on the obvious side. Anything else? They aren't ready for any kind of connection. They just aren't. No, I don't trust this at all. You got the Page of Cups reversed. Yeah, Page of Cups reversed. You know, that's they're brokenhearted. They're not ready to share emotions yet. Mm -mm. This is not going anywhere with this person. Can be a cancer as well. That's a shitty story, but this looks to me like somebody that doesn't want to stick around. They're still feeling sorry for themselves. They're in a disconnection of sorts. They're watching you. They could also be watching their ex, but what the hell's with the bossy horse shit? Uh-uh. Unreliable, happy horse shit. We don't like it. Sorry, guys. Not a good story today. So if somebody comes your direction, be careful, okay? Make sure you know... How long you been single? Oh, and how's your ex? How's your relationship? You know, get to know them. I don't think they're going to lie about it. I don't. I just don't see that they're willing to put any work into anything right now. They also might not be actually working. Okay, let's get something from the universe. Let's see what we have from the universe source. All right. Give it some time. I don't know about that. Without a doubt, well, shit sticks, seriously. And too foggy, yes, too foggy. I'd be careful with that, I really would. All right, let's get one from the sassy deck. Source, Leo, a little advice. Some sassy advice. Put on higher boots, the bullshit's getting deep. <laughs> God. I'm sorry, guys. That was just not very, very fun at all, was it? No. Okay, on we go to Virgos. Okay, elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Source. Okay. Ten of Wands reversed. Why? Person's trying to change their focus. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Ooh, ooh. What else? Okay, so the lovers. This person's trying to change their focus. Yes, they're trying to change how they feel. It's at the bottom of the deck. Bossing up. So I'm almost feeling like was a disconnection of sorts, and now they're trying to think about actually putting more work into it, making a choice to do so. They could have been, you know, I'm feeling like they just got done with a different connection of their own. Heavy on the Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Five of Pentacles. Let me in, let me in, let me in. No. So they know you're not interested, but they still want to come your way and talk. One more. Nope. Mm-mm. This person either doesn't feel the same way. It's like, okay, what? What? What do you want? You're coming my way. You're not as interested as you had been, and you have negative thoughts about me, or you considered me smothering, or, or no, no, go away. Please go the fuck away. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Two of Wands reverse and the Queen of Swords. No, this person's just a jackass. That isn't going anywhere either. That person's pissed off and not going anywhere. What else? Yeah. Oh, they got a little karma. They got financial issues too. Aw. Oh, it's so sad. No, not at all. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. High Priestess, Star Reverse, the Hermit. Okay. They're ignoring you on purpose. They feel hopeless completely. And they are avoiding all confrontation, period. Can be an Aquarius, can be a Pisces, and it can be a Virgo. Guess you guys need the fifth element today. Should we do it for fun? Fifth element. What do we have if there were a fifth element? Hangman reverse and the Eight of Swords reverse. They'd, they'd think there's a way out of this, but you wouldn't be able to trust them. No. Shit. Okay, well, let's see what we get in your full spread. Let's see if we get something better. All right. This here. All right. Slight pause for the Scooby Monster. Okay, who is coming Virgo's way? Who, who, who? Who, 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 who? Who are you? Who, who? Woohoo! I really want to know what do we got, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person's really thinking about something here. They're juggling the idea of bringing an offer. This person's out going, out going, out going, and honest. Well then, we like this better than the elemental quickies. So the intent is a breakthrough of sorts. Why the Two of Pentacles? Hmm, five. Five of Rods. Hmm, tell us more about the Five of Rods. A little bit of drama here. Could be impatient. Okay, or they could be not sure about a commitment. Okay, so this is somebody that's on the borderline about it. Tell us more about the Queen. Does not have to be a chicky poo. They may have just had an ending or do not want an ending. So this can be somebody that you already know. New, upright. New. Okay, can also be a Sagittarius. Why the world reversed? Babe. I think they still need closure with somebody that they had dealt with themselves that wasn't reliable. Okay. So what's this person's intent? I'm thinking we already have it with the Ace of Swords and Temperance. Ooh, hello, sweet sunshine. This is an offer. It's tangible. Very ambitious. This person's a good worker. They're honest and they're a cuddle buggy. They're cuddle buggy. So expect to hear somebody that wants to make an offer or take you out, start seeing you, etc. A connection, but it's a choice to date. It sure is. And then you've got the page. So this is definitely feeling new. This feels like new energy. Can't even see. We're not even going to screw that shit up. This person recently had an ending that they really did not want. It does seem like the person that they had been with was not reliable, not trustworthy. A sloth could have stepped out because the King of Pentacles can be somebody that is married or in a long-term connection and reversed. We do not trust. No. Nope. So this person here, Aries Leo Sag, is looking at, doesn't have to be a chicky poo, is looking at getting to know you. They're very curious at getting to know you. Heavy on Sagittarius as well. Can be a Gemini, but this looks like newer dating. It really does. And it could go into something longer term, but I don't think they're ready just yet. So that could be the only thing that I see as far as drama right now. So Sagittarius, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That looks like newer dating. Sure does, does, does. We'll take that, especially after your elemental quickies. Okay, let's move this deck. And get one from Source for Virgo. It's a little better. We'll take that. What do we have? Source. And of course, we got to get our sassy deck. Yes, indeed. And manifest what you want. So you could be pulling this person in. Keep in mind your thoughts. Keep them positive, And this might go very nicely. All right. And the sassy fuck it deck. One for Virgo. One for Virgo source. Okay, here we go. Fucking deception. Pay attention. Ooh. Let's read through that. 
ask yourself how many fucks you give. <laughs> okay, Virgo, that's what I have for you. And I'm going to go to Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Elemental quickies. Dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius source. Okay, I'm told to stop here. Heartbreak. This person's starting a new chapter. One more. They're still hurt. A wheel of Fortune. So you have been waiting a little bit, but it does look like they have some interest in you. I think that they just... Things are starting to go better for them, but they still are hurt. That's two threes. Okay, so they could have just gotten past a third party situation, but they're kind of turning their back on everything right now. Things are starting to go better for them. You'd be waiting a little bit, but there is some anticipation as well. All right, Gemini. Whoa, Libra Aquarius. Oh. Okay, I can't reach the Seven of Wands, but this person's confused at any rate, so be careful with that. The Seven of Wands was reversed, which means they just kind of give up. They're a pussy. No courage and confused. Go away. No air sign for you. Mm -mm. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Juggling, juggling, juggling. What are they juggling? The thought of you. Oh, why? Why the two of Pentacles? One more. Hmm. <laughs> They're not sure that they're going to open up to you or they don't want to let you go. You decide, okay, they don't want to let you go. Death, reverse, not wanting to let you go. They still have emotions and they feel like it's growing. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. All right, this isn't ending. This is not talking. This person feels abandoned. What else? And not happy about being single. They can feel mm, like they were used emotionally or that they were used financially. And they're not happy. It doesn't feel like this has anything to do with you, by the way. Okay. Clean deck. Let's move this one out of the way. Okay. Source. Who is coming Libra's way? Two of Swords reverse. So it can be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Now that's what I said we don't want. What does this person want? Ugh, they don't want things to be done. Well, that's a bunch of happy horse shit. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune reverse. I think they got a little bit to karma. Why the Two of Swords? They're realizing that they fucked up what? Oh, fuck. Yeah, they fucked up all right. Four of Swords, they've taken their little um, powder away from you, taken the time off. They could have put you in a third party situation. It sure the hell looks like it. One more for the Three of Swords. That's pain. That's hurt. King of Cups, but they still care. Well, isn't that special? So they're really, really thinking about you. How do they view Libra? Ten of Swords. They know that you're moving beyond this and that you are not happy. Not happy. Mm -mm, no. They feel you could be a little bit cold and cruel. One more. Yeah. <laughs> cold. Well, then what's the point? Why is this coming up? Why is this coming up? Why is this coming up? Four of Wands. They want the relationship back. Right on top of the tower reverse. They don't want this to be done. Okay, what's Leo or Libra's thoughts on this? Could be a Leo if I said that. You're like hell to the no. Mm -mm. This person could have abandoned you. They had secrets. You are not interested. You're like, this is a big fat no-go, buddy. Can be a Pisces. Uh -huh. Aries, Leo, Sag. You are just pissed. This is not something you're interested in. Okay, what is new, new, new? This feels like residual energy. New, 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 new. Happiness can be a Leo. 
tell us more about this potential Leo, but it is movement. Okay, and then you got the Four of Swords reversed. This is somebody that would be willing to talk, is not in a timeout emotionally. Hopefully doesn't have any baggage. What else? Knight of Cups. That's an offer. That's a date. We like that shit much better. This would make you feel good. You got the Six of Wands. So I do see new energy coming your direction. I do, I do, I do. And it's after you emotionally move on. So you do have the possibility of a new relationship coming your direction after you give up the bullshit. Okay? It's like whatever happened was bad. It was not right. It was just not right. But it also wasn't the right person for you. But a good person does look like they have interest. Mm -hmm. With, you know, taking you out. Any baggage with this person? I don't think so. This is somebody reliable. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say... Ooh, let's play it. Let's play it. When might this happen? When, 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 when? Let's take this one. August. Okay. So not too long of a wait. You could have a new connection. Can be a Leo. I'm feeling a fire. Aries Leo Sag. Pretty heavy. Whoever you have dealt with that hurt you, like badly, 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 is just not the right one for you. If they come back to try to, they aren't going to like what you have to say. I just don't think that you have anything, anything, anything nice to say to them or about them. Mm -mm. And the King of Cups is, he doesn't just pour his heart out. He controls his emotions. Uh -huh. But if they put you in a third party situation or just hurt you damn bad, that's not fixing shit. That's not fixing anything. So expect some newer dating towards August. That is the Leo season as well. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, we also could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Newer dating. It looks nice. It looks kind of fun. Try to drop that shitty, shitty energy. Oh, yucky pucky. All right, one from the universe source. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have about that? Make them walk the damn plank. They look like they deserve it. Not set in stone. And then you have new. And it's not meant for you. Yeah, I don't think that that X is. All right. And one from the sassy deck. For Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. Total bullshit. Turn around now. Make them walk the plank. Walk the plank, arg. All right, on we go to Scorpio. Scorpio, dealing with the fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Donk one. Okay, hurt, broken. What else? Hmm. This person's heartbroken and irritated and heavy on the Leo. What else? Area. This person's not ready for anything right now. No, leave them alone. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Please, source. Okay. Okay, everything's out on the table with this person. Nothing's being held back anymore. One more. Two of cups. One more. Oh, they dig you. Okay, so if they had pulled anything in the past, they want to try. Ooh, ooh, bottom of the deck, hair on. So they want to fix it. I don't know if they got a big band-aid or not, but it does look like they want to, you know, expand with you and they have feelings for you. All right, powerful, potent. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The Hermit and the... Mm. King of Pentacles reversed in the Hermit. I'd be careful with this one. Can be a Virgo as well. King of Pentacles reversed can be slothy, lazy. They're not offering shit. They might be in a different connection. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Lovers can be a Gemini as well. What else? Woo! A very potent one. 
This feels like this person is manifesting you by thinking about you, needs to make a choice. I'm feeling more that you are their choice. Yeah. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. They are really investing a lot of time thinking about you and having a connection with you. Okay. That looks nice. I like it. Clean deck. Okay. Source. Person most on. Nah. Who's coming towards? Who is coming towards Scorpio? I forgot I changed it up a little bit tonight. Okay. Four of Wands can be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody that you have been in a long-term connection with or wants to build a connection with you. In a very nice, methodical way. Ooh. Kind of liking that. One moment. Okay, sorry about that. Had to get rid of a commercial. 20-minute commercial. Seriously. All right, tell us more about this Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm digging it. This person is fascinated with you. They might see you getting attention from other people. So this does feel a little on the new side. New, upright. Yes. Remember, now that was Taurus... Taurus Virgo Capricorn, we had the magician. This person's really thinking about the stability. This also can be a date, okay? And it um, being a slow process to get to know you. I mean, this is actually pretty healthy energy here. This can be a date. We're not going to say, oh, it's a long term. We don't know yet. Okay. Tell us more about the magician. Wish fulfillment. That was the Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well. Not that it has to be, and we all have different placements, but ooh, that is getting to know you. This feels really new and really nice. How does Scorpio view this? You're ready for a new chapter, so this could definitely go somewhere. This is somebody you might want to work with. I mean, there's no guarantees, but it does look like there could be a nice connection. Kind of digging this shit. High Priestess can be a Pisces. You can be a little bit shy or they can be a little bit shy. They do see other people have their, you know, have their eye on you, but they have interest here. With the Pentacles, it can be somebody that you meet at their job or a job connection type thing. But, I mean, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> So expect to be asked out on a date is what I'm feeling here. But with this Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment. Again, with work. I'm not going to, oh, it's the, it's the person you're going to marry. Again, with work and a group of people. So it's possible to meet them at a function. If somebody asks you to go to something, go. By all means, go. Because this looks newer. Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups is somebody that is content. Ah. I like it. This is somebody that's very willful and stable. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. We're leaving it that hell alone. I'm going to say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm really feeling that, even though all signs. Oh, I don't know about Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Really not. No. Heavy on the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm feeling. Okay. Nice energy. Great. Right. Source. A little more input, please. You're going to get some too clouded. So we don't know who it is yet. We don't know who it is yet. And time will tell. Ooh, 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 ooh. Someone's going to get some. All right. Here we go. One from our sassy oracle deck. <laughs> a group of fuckers can help you achieve success. I'm telling you, this is going to be at a function amongst many people. It looks like fun Scorpio. All right, on we go. Sagittarius. All right, Sag. What do you think of the fire? Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius? Let's have some good shit. Well, that's not really good shit, but this person will put in that extra mile. Can be working hard. Transforming upright. Transforming upright. 
No, this person is done with something and right now they feel emotionally manipulated. So this can be an ending with you or it can be their own ending. Let's see, bottom of the deck. Mm, be careful with that. That might be somebody that wants to go back to their ex or they want to come back to you. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. No, this person did not do a very good job of juggling. They need to slow down, slow their roll. Ew. I don't trust that person. I think they're just in it to win it. Mm-hmm. Look at that shit. Bossy and not reliable. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> Go away. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Ew. Emotionally cold and a dick. Go away. No dicks. No. Well, let's have a serious conversation about this drama. Why don't you keep it? That's a lot of bickering and drama that they say they will drop wanting to come back. Be careful. That's an ex trying to work things out with you, but it looks like some major, major shits underneath that. They're full of shit, too. They're not going to work on anything. They're lying. Okay. What do we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Ooh, hello, we like that card. Stability, what else? Ooh, single and available. Ooh, woo. this person sees you in a very nice light. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah, injustice. Go with the earth sign. This is somebody that would be very fair, very outgoing, sees you like, oh yeah. You could meet them at an outing. Okay, I'm feeling the need to say something that would be in pairs. So a wedding, a some kind of function. Mm -hmm. And really, oh, nice energy. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let's get a clean deck. Okay, Sagittarius, who is coming their way? Source, who is coming Sagittarius' way? Okay, it can be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This seems somebody that's got some interest, wanting to get moving, grooving. What else? Two of Swords. Why the Two of Swords reversed? You might tell them no. <laughs> Strength. Okay, so this is somebody that is kind of holding back. Why the Two of Swords? I want to know a little more. They have maybe made a final choice of their own. It does look like they still feel stuck, though. Be careful. What are they stuck on? <sighs> this feels like they're stuck on somebody that they recently had an ending with. Now, can that be you? Yes, it can. All right, new, upright, reversed, old. New, upright, reversed, old. New. All right. This person's a little bit leery. They're a little bit cold feety. Can be Sagittarius, but it's somebody that's willing to put some work into it. They need a little more healing. Can be somebody that you meet at work, but oh yeah, they're up for screwing. <laughs> They just don't want anything toxic. I think they're leery. One more for this Nine of Swords. You got the Eight to the Nine of Swords. So they're not quite done healing, but they do want a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Let's see. Come on. Eight of Pentacles. This is, some, this is definitely somebody that you could meet at work. It's definitely somebody you can meet at work. It's, it's Nine of Cups. So they're working on their contentment. I'm not going to say it's wish fulfillment. Heavy on the working and collaboration. This is somebody that would work with you. Heavy on the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're just getting past something themselves. Mm -hmm. 
they might be in a little bit too much of a hurry to get started into something new so they might need a little more time healing so be careful getting involved but this looks like fun can be a leo can be a sagittarius all right strength is holding back but it's compassion and it is passion and temperance is merging together and balance and moderation possibly but it's still it's also intimacy i mean this looks like fun 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 cap and tap because it's certainly looking like this person's interested in you yep okay let's get an answer from source Ooh, we like it when we get some new dating coming source a little more input what do we get Leaning towards a no and still unclear. Okay. And then we're getting the sassy f it deck out. Source. One for Satch. One for Satch. You get asked out, go. Because the law of attraction fucked with you in the bottom of the deck. A new fucking opportunity is coming. I agree. I agree. There is something new coming for you. All right, Sag, that's what we have for you. And on to our Capricorns, okay? Elemental quickies first. Source, Capricorn, Dew and Moon, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What do we have? Sovereign energy. The world. And the Page of Wands. This person, I don't know if they're ready for anything yet. I mean, Page of Wands can be mm, kind of a flirt, but not necessarily reliable. Or they could have no balls. Be kind of a wimp. What else? Is this person a wimp? Dinosaurs, I wouldn't say they're a wimp if they want to move fast. One more. One more. I'm nosy. Could be a little reckless. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking reckless. This is like, come on, today, yesterday, let's do this. Have you on the Leo? <clears throat> that could be a little bit too fast. So that's somebody that probably is a little bit on the lonely side and just wants to have a connection. Be careful with that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, the person from the past, a person from your past does not want to be single. They might think that, mm, they might think that, uh, they might have felt smothered previously or used financially, but it is somebody that wants to try to work things out, okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ace of Cups and Five of Wands. This person does not feel the same way that they had. So we're talking unrequited love. They might be feeling the unrequited love, but two fives reversed. Wanting to change this and not having conflict. So they might want to try to fix again with the trying to fix shit. Need big band-aids. Mm-hmm. Lots of gauze. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Justice reverse. This person feels that this is not fair. I don't feel this is the right person for you. There's a lot of conflict. Lots of fives, guys. If there isn't an ex that wants to try to work things out and thinks that things just did not work their way, feeling a bit sorry for themselves. I'll boss up. I'll be more responsible. Will you? Will you really? Let's find out. Who is coming towards Capricorn? Who is coming towards Capricorns? Well, there's that page that was in the Aaron's Leo Sag. Curiosity killed the cat. What does this person want? Oh boy. They want a bitch. That's not so fun. Why do they want a bitch? Because they still have emotions for you. This is somebody that wants to try to fix things. Again, we need a big damn band-aid. Maybe some stitches. One more for the Queen of Swords reversed. 
Okay. Were they unreliable in the past? You've got two queens. You have three queens. And you have curiosity. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Too many fucking people up here. Cheating upright. Reverse, no. Okay, somebody wants to have renewed faith. They have hopes that this can go forward. This does feel like they somebody put you in a third party situation. It does feel that it was two females that were involved here. And a lot of anxiety. A lot. Yeah, need I say anything else? Uh, somebody's got their dipper in the wrong place and not happy. The Empress reversed is a cheater. Yes. Well, I didn't even ask a question. Can be a Virgo. What will Capricorn think of this situation? Why the fool? Are you starting over? You're not having it. This is something that you emotionally moved away from. You're starting over. It can be with an Aries. Tell us more about the fool. You don't want to deal with this Empress Reverse. That Empress Reverse, it can be a Libra or a Taurus. However, Reversed is codependent, smothering, jealous, unfaithful, and immature. Immature, younger. I think you are talking to somebody new that wants to get to know you but still not wanting to deal with that person, that empress, whoever the hell that had been, male or female, was too much of a burden. So you called it cahootsies. Said it's enough of that shit. Mm -hmm. That's twisted truths. If somebody tries to come in and tell you a story, it is bullshit. Tell us more about this page of pentacles. Can be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn coming your way, but they do have interest in you. That is somebody that's outgoing and fun and has a got it going on. Uh -huh. Kind of liking that. Anything else about this Queen of Wands or this person getting to know Capricorn? Yeah, they definitely want to move something forward. So this looks like new or dating. So screw the past. Screw the person that's all wishy-washy and feeling bad about what the hell happened. It looks like they made a mess of shit. Okay, whether or not they actually did anything, you were in a third-party situation and you saw through the shit. Okay, you had your breakthrough. You, you had enough. It's like, no, I know, I see. I don't need to deal with this anymore. They're still not done. They're still not done, but they made a bad choice is what I'm feeling the need to say. So screw this person here. There is no hope and wish for you as far as that person. They do. So, you could meet somebody through a friend, but this person wants to move things forward and be victorious, okay? This can be somebody that gets a lot of attention from other people, but they want your attention and very, very bold. Heavy on the Aries and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, I see a new beginning, some fun, some dating, something new, all right, all signs are up here. Screw this also can be an Aquarius. I, d I don't think that you feel the same way. This could be you ignoring them as well, going, I learned my lesson. Doesn't seem like you learned yours, though. Okay. Let's get one from the universe, one or two from the universe. Capricorn. Capricorn. Dun, dun. Make them walk the plank. Pending. And... Almost positive. I think you're meeting somebody new. I am feeling August. All right, and then we're going to, where's my sexy deck? Capricorns. Love has finally fucking arrived. I feel you're meeting somebody new. It looks like fun. Okay, Caps, that's what I have for you. And on we go to Aquarius. Okay. Elemental quickies first. Dealing with an Aries Leo or Sag. Aries Leo or Sagittarius source. Okay. Oh, manipulating bullshit. Not reliable and no. No. Still no. Full of shit. 
immature, not wanting it, six of cups, negative feelings. No, so just no. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Nine of Pentacles. Mm. And the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this person might want to... They definitely see you in a very good light. They see that you're single, available, ready to mingle. Oh, yes. Let's get one more. Ace of Pentacles is an offer. So it could be a new date, dating, something new. Heaven, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Oh, yeah, they want to work with you. You could meet this person at work. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What came out? King of Pentacles. Why the King of Pentacles? Long-term type of person. Ten of Cups has good intention. What else? Or we hope. Mm, I don't know about that. Now, with the Ten of Swords reversed, I feel like they had an ending that they didn't want. So be careful with that. They still, you know, it's not that they, they do want long term, but it looks like they kind of lost a connection. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is coming out, it says. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So you got the fuckery and trying to get away with something or holding emotions back. And the Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups. This person's not just declaring their love. They control their emotions. Nine of Wands. They got a little fight left in them, but I think they're holding back. I think they'll be honest. So there could be a breakthrough with that person. Bottom of the deck, you get the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So they could have gotten some karma or feel like things just aren't going well for them. Okay. Clean deck. Source, who is coming? Aquarius' way. All right. Somebody that does not want any fighting, no drama. Why the Five of Swords reversed? That's somebody that doesn't have to be all all the time correct or wanting to make things better that had possibly been confused before but they are daydreaming about you and might see that you're not interested anymore tell us more about this page could have been a fucking good story they feel stuck so it looks like they got put in a little pity party timeout mentally they feel stuck because they care about you. Hmm. What is new, 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 new? Or where is new, 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 new? I mean, if you don't have any interest, and it does not look like you do have any interest in this person at all, but it does look like you could have an Aries Leo Sag come in your direction. Be careful. It can be a player. Yeah. Well, that's sucky shit. <laughs> Sucky shit coming your way at a theater near you. Sucky shit. So it can be Sagittarius. It's heavy on the fire signs, okay? The water, potentially, or an air sign you are not interested in. You don't give a shit if they're going to apologize or not. Mm -hmm. You think, you know, and I'm feeling like emotionally imbalanced with the confusion shit. Here, you got competition, and it's like, okay, I'll play, but I ain't going to stay. Holding back on their emotions, I don't like it at all. Tell us more about temperance. Nah. It's something that you would feel kind of like, no, like, no, like, fuck that shit. No. Okay, so, okay, retrograde's done as of yesterday. What the hell? Okay, love is coming. Can be a Libra or a Taurus. It's just going to take some damn time. It's just going to take some time. What needs to happen is you need to get over that person from the past and not think about them. Not think about them at all. At all. Eraser in the head. Okay? You're not interested, but you still have your days. Is basically what I'm feeling. If this, if this resonates for you, 
You're just having those days where you emotionally still think about them and you think about what they put you through and it's very, very difficult, okay? <sighs> this is, you know, um, trying to not get pulled in so many different directions and be strong and protect yourself. You know, wanting, you do, you do it stubborn. Wanting to be vulnerable but not feeling it's the right time. Emotions are going to grow with somebody else. It's just going to be a little bit of time. Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, and Taurus again. So you need a little bit more time. I'm really feeling time, time, time. What's become of us? It's a crazy shade of winter. There you go. It's going to be winter. All right, Source. Aquarius. Little direction. No. Well, why not? It's not meant for you. Yeah, I agree. It's not meant for you. And it's hard to let go. All right. Fuck it, deck. Source. You got two. You can't fix stupid. And wealth is on its way, you lucky fucker. Yeah, concentrate on other things until you can get over the person that's hurt you. The person from the past that still has a... Can, you know what just fell out? August. So that might mean something to you. It literally just fell out. Okay. On we go. Pisces, dealing with the fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles. What else? Can be somebody that is younger. Ooh, Five of Pentacles. All right. This person feels put out and very defensive. If it is not you they're not talking to, they're in a timeout from somebody else and they feel abandoned or have abandonment issues. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Page of Cups. You guys got some, you've got, you're meeting new people for damn sure. You got two pages here. Tell us more about this Page of Cups. Somebody daydreaming about you got a little crushy crushy. Uh -huh. Hermit, they're not telling you though. Ooh, it's an Aussie weekend. It's a secret. Not telling. One more. I think they're trying to learn more about you. Chariot, give a little time. I do see that this could move forward. There can be a physical distance, but this person is determined. I think they're just not telling you yet. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And yes, that can be a Virgo or a Cancer. Nine of Cups can be wish fulfillment or contentment. Wheel of Fortune, this can move forward in a positive way. What came out? What came out? This is somebody that doesn't want an ending, no. That or they're afraid of change. The hell am I on? Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Slow down, okay. The sun. Ooh. Okay, and the lovers. And the six of pentacles. Okay, so this is somebody that would put work into. Again, the sun is movement, but it's the happiest card in the deck. The lovers can be mutual interest, and the six of pentacles can be a very nice balance. We like that. We like that. Okay. Let's get out a clean deck. I can get the damn cards up. And the Scooby Monster and I compromised, so the noise shouldn't be so crazy in the background, hopefully. Okay, clean deck. Source. Who? Who's coming towards our fine Pisces? Ooh, somebody that wants to talk can be an Aries Leo Sag. Can be somebody that is at a distance from you. They might feel you holding back. 
Why the seven of fuckery? Hmm. Why? I'm feeling this has to do with somebody talking shit at work. Interesting. Tell us more about this person that is incoming. So you got gossip and bullshit at work. Who gives a shit? Okay. Aries Leo Sag again. This person's at... I feel them moving, actually physically moving, like packing up their crap and going. This could be somebody new at work that's, I'm really feeling the need to say, kind of sneaking, you know, it's not always a fuckery card, but it sure the hell is kind of looking like there's gossip. Why the gossip? Mm, are they in a connection already? Mm, tell me more about this, too. Ah, oh, shit. You got more than one person, for sure. You got gossip at work about somebody and somebody else and blah, 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 horseshit. And nobody's damn business. And then you have an Aries Leo Sag, heavy Aries. So gossip at work about somebody that's in a relationship and sneaking around. So somebody's sneaking around at work. Who gives a shit as long as it doesn't involve you? But you have somebody that's interested in you over on this side. And you're looking towards each other. And that looks nice. We like it. One more. Will you be interested? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's passion. Woo! Heavy on the fire signs for you. Aries. Leo was at the bottom of the deck. I feel gossip and bullshit. It can be a boss, but it's it's also the card of higher learning. I don't know what the hell that can be pertinent to other than somebody screwing around at work and it's really, you could have just gotten wind of it and didn't really give a fuck because who cares? That's not my business. But I feel a physical move with somebody and this is definitely a fire sign. So if they don't have fire in their in their chart, I would be shocked. But the King of Wands, oh, outgoing, courageous, passionate, fun, 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 fun. New dating, spending time with somebody. This is messaging back and forth, a lot of action that way. And I'm really feeling the need to say that's that's a mutual sexual energy as well. And it's a choice. So I think it's like I'm picking you. Let's start dating. Oh, I like it. I like it. Who gives a shit over here? Can be a Taurus. Somebody holding back or full of shit or something. But it seems like you hear about something at work. Eh. So if you hear something at work, just roll your eyes. Go, oh, uh-huh. That's not my business. I don't give a shit. All right, source, Pisces. Don't get involved with it by any means. You are being guided to the answer. Oh, yeah. I think soon, too. Too clouded. One more. Definitely not a no. Interesting energy. All right, let's get the fuck deck out. Interesting energy. All right. Who's screwing in the broom closet at work? <laughs> Kidding. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Silence is required. <laughs> Apparently, you're not supposed to open your mouth. And then fucking deception, pay attention. I really feel that's work. You stir the shit pot. What do you expect? Don't talk about any gossip at work. Because you can't fix stupid. But I do see new dating coming. I really, really do. <laughs> Woo! Interesting energy, guys. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Many blessings, and we'll see you next time.